Uh, excuse me, Caroline. Uh, yeah. Your fiance just called. What? He knows I'm working. That's why he didn't ask to talk to you. Um, he's being sneaky. But. But your paycheck comes from me, and you know how much I hate surprises. Oh, so residue. Residue. The town of Mystic Falls was completely evacuated. The stewards that some natural gas leak made it all uninhabitable. So many rumors, whispers, and just strange things happening. There's something behind you. But are you really trying to scare me? Amanda! So is any human who steps foot in silence. I said, let him go. Did that just happen? Now, almost every single culture has the lore of a creature or being that cheats death. Why do our brains insist on inventing the most unbelievable things? It's because the reality of death. Damon, tell me what you were doing in Europe. I'm losing my money and my sanity to a series of con artists. Don't worry, I'm over it. It's okay if you're not. Like, I'm a little offended you didn't come to me first. Let's uh, give me a call. Can I help you? We found Malcolm in the town square last night. His heart removed. You didn't know? No, I didn't. Because we didn't do it. I'm not here to blame you, Stefan. I don't want to think what would happen oh, at the end of this day. God. I am the closest thing you have to a friend in here. Well, fun tip. Friends don't really like to be tied up with a ravine rope. <laughs> this is Caroline we're talking about. Yeah. Deep breath. Lily came by earlier. She found him in the town square without a heart. Oh, did she want that back? <laughs> I mean, I think I packed it somewhere, right? So ah! Lily and I had a deal. A bad deal. She took Caroline. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. <laughs> See, last night, ah! I was in the town square minding my own business when I tripped and accidentally ripped Malcolm's heart out. Okay. Of course. Just like that. <laughs> hilarious because this is no longer your house and i have the deed to prove it now if you don't mind i have to get ready to go bury my son this is so messed up in every sense of the form i don't feel any magic emanating from it What was that? I have a call in with the registrar's office, and I will find out who exactly does own the house in a matter of minutes, at which point we kill said person, storm the castle, and save your damsel. My family ran a slaughterhouse when I was growing up. It was all well and good until they found out I was a siphon freak of nature, and they were more than happy to hang me with the cattle. So, been there, sister? You wore that dress to Queen Victoria's funeral. It's stunning. Lovely. <laughs> Do you think this will make your eyes pop? If you ever embarrass my girlfriend again. You promised you wouldn't be hurt. After you promised you wouldn't escape. So much We're leaving for the cemetery Promises. in a few hours. I'm sure she can survive until then. Thanks. Much appreciated, you, babes. I need someone to stay here at the house. Lorenzo, what happened to you? <sighs> Bonnie Bennett, destroyer of dreams. <laughs> so I take things and go well with Rick. He wants to bring Joe back to life with a stone that's filled with evil incarnate. Yep, sounds about right. You're covering for me. Because I need your head in the game. Bob. Yes, I have a actually true. It involves a person who owns my house. I like Damon's plan more. This true thing seems stupid. Great. So the only way to break the seal is for me to die. Bon, please tell me that that's not the plan. What do you think about letting me use magic to stop your heart? I feel bad for him sometimes. So you're gonna kill me? You didn't. I couldn't help it. Oh, that dress. The Queen Victoria one. Oh, you shouldn't have said anything. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. I don't need 
to touch you to do this. Oh, wrapped up. Let's go. Lily's waiting. Let's go to Sanguine and find our cura. Let's go to Sanguine and find our cura. How does it feel? Let's go to Sanguine and find our cura. Alright, well, you just did, brother. Seal's down. I'll take the front door. Enjoy the tunnels. Put it, put it in, put it in. Drop it, Rick. No, drop that, Rick. This is not the way to do it. Oh, see? What? What? Are you kidding? But I chose you and your friend many times. On her eyes, Malcolm was more a Salvatore than you ever were. Why else would she bury him in a family crypt next to Elena? Whoa, whoa. Pull out Elena's coffin and dump the body in the river under the falls. She can spend the next 60 years of her life underwater. Thank God. <laughs> Awfully long 10 seconds, Mark. Looks like I'm gonna have to swoop you up and carry you out of here. <laughs> Well, the feminist in me says no, but... Even when he beat you with it until you were bloody, still, you denied it, vehemently sitting there playing with your little toy soldiers bloody and bruised oh, Lord, Malcolm was a vital part of this family Malcolm reunited us he was my sounding board my confidant my eldest son ironic that you took him from me what's happening? You know, I feel like every molecule in my body is being pulled <laughs> General check up. I'm so sorry. I got a hit with these visions. This isn't your fault. This is all happening because of Damon. Oh, come on. Stop blaming That's him for everything. It's, it's not. Where are you going? I believe Lily's exact words were as far from Mystic Falls as humanly possible. I don't know Google Maps, but I'm thinking that's pretty far away. I never did anything wrong as a kid. She took my toys. You complain to Lily about your worthless brother that left town. All the while, I'm doing a little fracturing of my own. How are you going to do that? There were four heretics at the funeral. Dead Malcolm makes five. But in Stefan's journal. It's the first thing she looked for when we realized we were trapped in 1903. The entry for July 15th, 1863 should tell you why. You never want to hear the name Stefan Salvatore ever again. <laughs> <laughs> This is absolute bullshit. You put me through this and then I have to wait again for someone attacking. So apparently, darling Caroline is not married to, I mean, engaged to Stefan. And there seems to be a problem with them too. Because she doesn't want to hear their name, his name again. Why? Is it because of this Valerie thing? I'm sure not. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm moving on to the like, third episode. This has been ridiculous. The only ridiculous thing about this episode is Enzo and Lily being a thing that that is much weirder than Marcel and Re Rebecca. But this is anyhow. 
next episode, episode three. This is this is terrible. Okay. See you guys. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe with your friends and family. I'll see you guys in episode three. Bye.